It's Jeannie, a uh, speech language pathologist here again. This time we're gonna be talking about um, the eight tips that there are for teachers. Um, obviously, I know we just talked about the parents and um, you know the tips for parents for, for speaking to children in their homes and changing their behaviors, but sometimes we wear more hats than just parent, right? So some of us are also teachers and it's really important to kind of see from both ends how we as adults can assist um, our children. So uh, the, first, the first one is don't tell the student to slow down or just relax. And I, I see that so frequently um, where people will stop and say, take a breath, you know, slow down. You don't, don't worry yourself over this, it's okay. And really what that ends up doing is it, 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 it does the opposite of what you would like it to do. It actually creates a little bit more anxiety. It creates a little bit more awareness of the fact that their communication isn't quite like other people's. Um, at this point with preschool, a lot, like I said before, a lot of these students don't even know that they're stuttering. They don't know that they're communicating differently. Um, the more we say things like this makes them know that they're a little bit different. Hey, they're saying that to me all the time, but they don't say that to anybody else. Um, and so we just want to keep that kind of somewhat negative speak to a minimum and just allow them to speak. Just let them go. It's okay. Whether we say slow down or just relax, their message is going to come out eventually anyway. It's not going to change it. Um, so just be a little bit more cognizant of the fact that you know, saying those things is going to draw attention to it in a different way than we would hope. Number two, don't complete words for the child or talk for him or her. Um, this one is so important too, because a lot of times we will see just any preschool student, when we see them struggle, we want to jump in and we want to help. And in this particular case, jumping in to help is kind of cutting the child off, creating a little bit more anxiety creating a little bit more frustration that they couldn't say what they wanted to say. Um, frustration that someone just jumped in and said something that wasn't even what they were going to say, right? So sometimes that happens where we make assumptions. We're really putting words into someone else's mouth. Really and truly, it's a time for them to communicate and say their message. They give us a chance to communicate and say our message. Let's give it to them as well, um, no matter what their communication sounds like. Number three, help all members of the class learn to take turns talking and listening. So as we had said before, if there's siblings in the family, um, you know, or, or even other, other parents who, or grandparents, different family members in that, in a tight knit, um, maybe living in the house, make sure that everybody is on board. Um, and this is like for in the classroom too. I love grouping um, preschool students together one who we're working on fluency and one who needs to work on turn-taking. <laughs> um, it's a really cool process. And of course, as adults are modeling that slower rate of speech and reduced amount of questions, you know, the other students pick that up real quick. And they're very supportive with the student who, who requires that to kind of minimize the amount of stuttering that they're doing and to increase their fluency. Um, teach all of them, um, that to take turns, listen, and then they'll, they'll find it in the end much easier to talk when there are fewer interruptions and when they have the full attention of the people that they're speaking with. So whether it's the student who's stuttering or not, I think this is a great, this is a great um, focus right here, taking turns and listening. Number four is expect the same quality and quantity of work from the student who stutters and from the from those who don't. And so you don't want to have, you know, assign a project where somebody has to walk up in the front of the class, but the person who stutters, you're like, oh, you don't have to do that. It's just creating a difference and more of a divide for them and more, more a feeling of perhaps shame in their communication when really we should be encouraging communication no matter how it comes out. Um, at the preschool level, that means like, you know, if you're reading a book and you're asking questions to students, you don't want to avoid the child who you feel like won't get their message out in time, right? 
give all the children the time they need to communicate and get their message out, no matter how it is or no matter what the quality is like. Um, number five is speak with the student in an unhurried way and pause frequently. Um, oh, this one is a good reminder, even for me, um, because like I said, when I'm working with preschool, there are times when I'm really, really excited, really speaking fast, because that's what's, that's the most fun for kids. But for students who are struggling with their fluency, it's really important to slow that down. Take some pauses. When the child says something to you, you can just pause and then resume in. It just creates this nice, calm and fluid back and forth communication. Um, number six is convey that you're listening to the content of the mission, to the message, not how it's said. So basically there may be circumstances where the stuttering is quite severe. Um, and you don't want to be like, wait, what are you even saying? Or you don't want to say, try that again, or uh, take a breath or something like that. What you want to do is listen to the parts that you understood and let them know that you understood what they said, but not critique them on how they said it, right? Ooh, that was really bumpy. That's tough because that's bringing that attention to that behavior and you don't want the child to be ashamed of their, of their communication. Um, so what you want to do is show them that you're listening to what they're saying, but not how they're saying it necessarily. Number seven, have one one-on-one -on -one conversation with the student who stutters about needed accommodations in the classroom, things like that. Again, we're, we're working with this pre preschool age. So um, I really enjoy that idea of having one-on-one, -on -one. not that they're gonna know what accommodations they need, but the one-on-one -on -one builds that relationship and that rapport with the teacher so that when they do have to communicate with the teacher, communicate in front of the classroom, they have that connection with them and it creates it creates it creates a less anxious environment um, and one where they really have the desire to communicate with the teacher because they have that relationship. Um, so number eight is the final one: don't make stuttering something to be ashamed of. And I know I've said that a couple of times already, but um, you know, talk about stuttering as if it's like any other matter. Again, with preschool, some of our students don't even know that they're stuttering. And that's okay. We don't even have to put, we don't have to put a name to it. We as adults can change our method of communicating with students in a way to create an environment where they know that they're being heard. They know that their message is being recognized and their communication is just as valid as other people. So what we want to do is just encourage them to communicate no matter what and um, try to have them work through their disfluencies from our changed behavior. And then eventually when they start understanding a little bit of the difference between smooth speech and bumpy speech, then eventually we can talk about it, but in a very positive light. So these are the eight um, fluency tips for teachers. But again, you know, parents can sometimes be teachers too. <laughs> and so I wanna make sure that um, all of the information is provided to you. And again, this is from the Stuttering Foundation.